Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 170th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, and to start off yesterday, Friday, December 13th, 2013, following the release of the first beta iteration of iOS 7.1 over three weeks ago, Apple seeded 7.1 beta 2 for registered iOS developers. As of now, the latest firmware, which can be obtained via Apple's Dev Center, is restricted to those who are enrolled in Apple's official iOS developer program. And unlike the previous 7.1 firmware, the second beta IPSW features a revised build number. And although it hasn't been officially confirmed by a member of the evaders, it's likely that 7.1 Beta 2 doesn't have any negative impact on the upcoming iOS 7 untethered jailbreak. There is a strong possibility it will be capable of jailbreaking 7.1. Now as for the changes and revisions in iOS 7.1, while the first beta brought a toggle for a new dark keyboard, a new Yahoo logo, and additional burst camera mode upload options, the second beta seemingly offers less. And while I have the full change log listed down below in the more info, the firmware primarily corrects a few minor bugs that were still present in the first beta, adds a list toggle for the calendar app, and brings Touch ID options to the main settings menu. Now previously, iHateSnow discovered that the expiration date for the first iOS 7.1 beta is January 13th, 2014. Now that's a strong indicator that Apple likely plans to release the finalized version of the firmware sometime next month. And of course, as 7.1's final release quickly approaches, we should know more on the firmware and how it affects the Vader's iOS 7 jailbreak. So of course, just be sure to stay tuned for complete updates. I'll keep you guys notified along the way, and I'll be sure to let you guys know if anything changes in the jailbreak's development. And for more of a jailbreak-centric take on iOS 7.1 Beta 2, I'll have a link to an article down below from Jailbreak iOS Evasion that I highly recommend reading. Moreover, for additional details on the latest in jailbreaking, I highly recommend watching the previous episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors, where I discuss a somewhat troubling development that's propagated on the jailbreak scene recently, and it's related to the new iOS 7 and 7.0.4 jailbreak bounty that's formed on somewhat of a surprising and definitely negative software crowdfunding platform. Unfortunately, there haven't really been a lot of new details in the world of jailbreaking over this past week. However, if for whatever reason you missed my two recent iOS 7.0.4 jailbreak tutorials for the iPhone 4, I'll also have links to those below, and I'll quickly summarize. So essentially, developer Rage Master pushed out new updates to his Rage Break utility, which again is intended specifically for the iPhone 4. And the reason behind that is that Rage Break is built on Windows CM's open Snow project, which utilizes GeoHot's LimeRain exploit from 2010. Now, LimeRain takes advantage of a hardware vulnerability that Apple simply could not patch without releasing new devices. Obviously, they did that. They patched the LimeRain exploit, and since the iPhone 4 and A4 based devices, it no longer functions. However, it did effectively jailbreak the devices that it supported for life. But of course, because Apple slowly phases out their older devices with the release of new firmwares, the last device that LimeRain functions on is the iPhone 4. All right, and last week, in addition to covering Sharp's obscenely priced 4K 32-inch monitor, I also told you guys about a new 55-inch Hisense 4K TV that's available at an astonishing $1,999. However, in last week's episode, I mentioned that it had recently gone on sale for $1,500. So as most of you know, that's an incredible price for bleeding-edge 4K display technology. And I actually went to Costco and picked one up myself, and I just wanted to let you guys know what my impressions are of the new Hisense T880. So essentially, I noticed right out of the box, it's a really great TV. It's built extremely well from high quality materials, and the picture looks absolutely amazing. However, the other day, I did notice that there are a few dead pixels on it, primarily in one spot, the upper left-hand corner, and I will be returning the TV. Fortunately, because Costco has a 90-day return policy, I'm going to take it back after the holidays, and see what deals I can get on some other 4K TVs. But overall, I think it's really great. It's supposed to be a smart TV. However, it comes with a very basic remote, and I actually couldn't find any details on the remote prior to purchasing the TV. I was hoping it would be a little more feature-packed, so I'm somewhat disappointed. And of course, the same thing kind of goes for the TV itself. Although it is a smart TV, it doesn't have a lot of the features that you'd find on name brands like Samsung or LG smart TVs. Again, though, it offers stellar 4K performance, and I definitely recommend it for anyone who's in the market to buy a brand new 55 inch TV. And of course it will blow any 1080p TV out of the water. Next up, according to reports from last night, it seems as though Apple plans to release their all new 
Mac Pro very soon. In fact, based on some quotes that some customers have received directly from Apple employees, the company may put the brand new computer on sale as soon as this coming Monday, December 16th. 2013. And for those of you who don't know, the Mac Pro features an all new redesign and it's actually the first design change that the computer has seen in quite a few years. And there's a lot of controversy around it, primarily because it's so small and it just looks like from the outside that it isn't that upgradable. However, that's not really the case. And I'm not going to go over everything on the Mac Pro in this video. If you guys want more details on it, just be sure to check out the link to Apple's site that I have below. And I should have some more coverage on the Mac Pro soon once Apple releases it. All right, and finally in this video, I want to briefly discuss free app life and the second generation iPad mini giveaway that I'm currently holding, which will conclude very soon. But first, as most of you know, free app life is a service brought to you by myself, Adrian from Jailbreak Nation and iPod Uplink and Marcus from Infinity, formerly Weblin Installer. And essentially it allows users to download sponsored applications for points and use said points to redeem various prizes such as gift cards and paid application codes from Apple's App Store. We hold giveaways on free app life all of the time, so if you don't want to miss out, just be sure to have an account. And that ties into my second generation iPad mini giveaway. If you haven't yet entered, just be sure to do so. I'll link you guys to a video that contains more details on how to gain entries. And in the spirit of the holidays, I think we're going to hold quite a few device giveaways. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, just be sure to leave them down below. I'm going to try to read through all of them and we'll see what we can do to make it happen. And I'm actually going to make that the question of the day in today's video. But first, if you guys want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Again, if you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. And for this video, it's what devices do you think we should give away on free app life? Again, your suggestions can really be anything from iDevices to consoles, even Android devices. Again, just be sure to let me know down below in the comment section or on Jailbreak Tech Info. And of course, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and Jailbreak updates, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me in one of your circles inside of Google+, and follow me on Instagram at ICUID. I'll have links to everything below. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.